Welcome to our lecture online. For our second lecture in this set, we're going to use this sword. Well, it's kind of a toy sword. It's something that was made by one of our kids when he went to the Anime Expo. So here it is, but we can use this for something very practical. We can do what we call the vertical line test. So I need something that's long and straight. And the way to determine, at least graphically, whether or not we're dealing with a relation or with a function is to do what we call the vertical line test, which means we take a long object like this and we, we put it vertically, that's why it's the vertical line test, and then we move it across from left to right on the x-axis. And it looks like I forgot to put down the x for the x-axis there. All right. So if at any point the line crosses the or the curve that we drew crosses the vertical line in more than one spot, it is not a function, it's a relation. So notice at this point, at the very edge, we can see that it only touches at one location. That still is okay to be a relation, but then when we move it across, we now have two places where it crosses the vertical line that makes it for sure a relation. The same with this hyperbola, you can see that as we go across over here, the line is touched twice by the curve, here it's zero times, here it's twice, at the very edge right here, at the very tip, it's only once, but again, it doesn't matter if there's any one location where the curve crosses the vertical line twice, we're dealing with a relation, not a function. Over here as well, you can see that the very edge right here, it only touches upon it once, there's one single point there, but once we go to the right of that, we have two places where it crosses the vertical line, again, a relation. Now, here's an interesting difference. Notice this here, and notice this over here. If we square this equation, we end up with this exactly. Wow, but here we have a relation, and here I claim we have a function. Notice that the bottom part of that curve is missing. The reason why that's missing is if we write it like this, and we know that the square root of something is defined as having to be positive by definition, the square root of x cannot be a negative number. The only way that could be a negative number is that it's an imaginary number. So yeah, we cannot make it negative. And so therefore, by definition, since we cannot make it negative, y cannot be negative, and the bottom part of the curve is missing. We only have the top part of the curve. Now when I do my vertical line test, at any one point, it only crosses the vertical line once, which makes it a function and not a relation. It's as simple as that. I remember the first time that somebody showed me that, I go, wow, that's pretty neat. That's all it is. That's all it is, indeed. It's very easy graphically to determine if we're dealing with a relation or a function, and that is how it's done. Yeah, it's... <laughs> I only really understood it. So, okay, one, you know, doesn't pass the vertical line test, the other one does. So? It's true. Um, however, I think the idea is that if you have a one-to-one -one correspondence, a one-to-one -one relationship, where for every one value of the independent variable, you can only have one value of the dependent variable, it's in a special case, and we call that a function. It turns out that every function is also a relation because the definition is one or more places, so it doesn't have to be more than one place. So every function can also be called a relation in a way, kind of a subset, but they do want to make the differentiation. And yes, we use relations all the time. We use circles and hyperbolas, and we use these kind of parabolas that are on their side, but they're not functions. Yeah, but <laughs> so you, you do a physics problem. You know, in the real world, when you come up with equations and you come up with solutions and you have to use hyperbolas or circles or sideways parabolas, we use the values that we find and we move on and we don't really care if they're function we relations. We don't even think about it. That's correct. It, it's purely a, a definition. It's a recognition that there is a difference um, from a practical perspective. You might be right. I don't see much of a difference. 